friends, this is crazy ass Noofy News. I have a new story for you. I don't, don't understand the existence of how our police are acting or why this happens. But two officers have killed a man in a wheelchair who is a double amputee. Not only is he a double amputee, but he's missing one leg and one arm from a train accident. Wow. When you watch this, please don't be angry at the officers. They are justified. This man with the wheelchair and that, uh, he could have swung that pen and got lucky and took out an eye of that officer, or maybe even ran over his toe or kicked him with his one leg. You know, so you you got he had to be put down. He had to be put down. You know, just like the officers, they have to take down the blind, the deaf, the old, the young, the crippled in wheelchairs. You can't, you can't trust them, man. It's in a world and a time that you cannot trust them. The blind man. Two officers enter a house and you got a blind man in there and that. All he has to do is turn off the lights. He becomes a bat-like creature with superpowers. He can overtake those two officers in a blink of an eye. You gotta take them down, man. You gotta take the blind down. Then you got the, the deaf. And they're coming out of there. And they're doing that sign language thing and that. Do you think that's all that is? That's a means for them to get close enough to be able to keep their hands up real close. And use those tactics like ninjas. Kill the officers, man. Deaf people are special, too. They got superpowers, man. Don't take your fucking eyes off them. You gotta take them down, man. You gotta take them down. You know, then you got this old lady. She's like in her 90s and that. And she's got a knife, man. In a parking lot. And you're an officer. Well, for fuck's sake, of course you gotta take him down, man. She could come at you and slash that knife if you stand still and you let her. So you gotta. You can't turn your back on those old people, man. You gotta take them down. And you got those six-year-olds and that going into the schools. They're not mis they're misbehaving. You gotta put them in place, man. Put those handcuffs on them. You got a little bit of older kids and that? Taser the crap out of them. That's what the hell they're there for. Taser the kids and that, man. Put them in their place. Hell, you're getting permission from even the parents now to come to their house and taser their kids. See, so you, you gotta put them down, man. You can't trust those little kids, man. Taser them. Matter of fact, maybe you should make a law where every, every parent should have one of them sitting in their house with the kids in place, you know? Maybe the parents want to have an alone time on that, pull out the taser and little Jimmy's going to be drooling in the corner for a while. You don't have to worry about him. It's the ultimate electrical therapy, man. They don't even remember afterwards they, they piss themselves and shit themselves. Hey, I'm just saying, man. you got to put them down, man. That's the kind of world we live in. Those officers are justified. A man with a wheelchair is a man with a transformer. How the hell do you get cornered by a man in a wheelchair with one arm and one leg. A police shooting in Houston. An officer shot and killed a double amputee after police say he advanced on the officer's partner in his wheelchair. Police were called initially by the caretaker of the group home where the man lived, who described him as schizophrenic and said he was acting aggressively. Not a professional described him as schizophrenic. In other words, nobody's given us the has been following this story. And Nick, when you hear just the basic facts here, you wonder, this guy's in a wheelchair, how could this escalate into a shooting? Well, that's what everyone's asking, mm -hmm. and that's in fact what we asked the Houston Police Department earlier today. But this all started it's over nice candy, uh, cigarettes, and soda. Uh, this Brian Clark Acting show. aggressively over these items and whatnot, but still not killing or stabbing anybody. By the police, I became aggressive with his caretakers after asking uh, for candy and soda, uh, cigarettes and soda, about 2.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, that's when the police were called in, and when the police got there, Susan, things sort of escalated. At some point, one of the officers was cornered into this darkened room, uh, and according to police, who we spoke to earlier today, it was the partner, not the officer that was in the corner of the room, mm -hmm. that fired that fatal shot, and the shot, one shot, to the head, according to this police source. And of course it's under okay. investigation, but what Here's what happened. You're my partner? The crazy wheelchair man who's got one arm, one leg, took the appearance of pen that was really a knife, but not really because it was a pen, in the darkened room. He pushed forward his wheelchair motorized by using his one arm and then 
the wielding weapon at the same time, and as the vehicle lurched forward towards you, he started to slash out in that, and then he pushed it forward to move his chair again, and then he slashed forward at you. But you couldn't see what it was because it was dark, right? Right? Okay, then. We got our story straight. The group home where this man lived. Well, we tried to get in touch, Susan, with the group home's uh, director, the owner of the group home. We were unable. Uh, but apparently, according to an interview with our local affiliate, the neighbor said that this isn't the first time that the police have been called to the business. A month to a month and a half ago, you know, the same situation happened. We heard some yelling and screaming, and they, we saw them take it, one or two of the individuals. Again, misleading. This gentleman can't even define if the man who got shot was the same other two gentlemen who got pulled out before. It is a group uh, The neighbor saying that the neighbor thought the police had showed up to close down his party. He was having a party that same night. They went to that business there, and uh, there was fatal shooting that took place. Misleading. Being called to by the police to come there doesn't signify it had anything to do with that gentleman, as they left out, if you hadn't noticed. Misleading. <laughs> Officer. Well, that's a good question. This officer, according to reports, was involved in another fatal shooting back in 2009. Uh, per standard operating procedure for the Houston Police Department, the officer was put on three days administrative leave. More details, of course, will uh, no doubt emerge from this, Susan. Which is status quo if something like this does happen. Nick Valencia, thanks so much. Thank you. I cannot believe they justify this insanity. Choose life first, okay? Now visibly put that in your mind. He's in a wheelchair. Electric or not, he's got one arm, so he's got to move it over there. He has to lower the pen at some point, or is he holding the pen still while he pushes the trigger to move his crazy wheelchair that is, you know, like... I think that the officer is justified, if you really think about it, because those wheelchairs they could be transformers in disguise. Yeah, fucking insanity, man. I don't understand. <laughs>